Hey friends, welcome to part 11 of my composition art journal project. Uh, this is a really fun one. I'm excited to show you. And I, one of the techniques that I use, or tools I should say, is tracing paper. Um, remember that stuff when you, when you were a kid? So first I tried to freehand a brain, and that didn't work. So I printed up this, this image of a brain. And at first I cut it out thinking... I would trace it that way. I didn't really need to cut it out, but I use tracing paper. That's what that is. And you um, can get it on Amazon or whatever. I'll try to find a link for you and shiny side down. And then you can take either a stylus that's got, you know, kind of a, like a ball on the end or a pencil is fine. And it leaves a black mark. So black on black, I didn't know if it would show up enough for me to see it, but um, it did. So then I just went in with my acrylic marker, this metallic silver, because I knew it would write really well on this black acrylic paint and that it would show up really well. So I'm starting with the left side of the brain, the analytical side of the brain. And um, you'll see where I'm going with this <laughs> very quickly because my husband and I are complete opposites in so many ways. We have very little common ground when it comes to personality and the way that we process and things in life, but we make it work. So um, I wanted to do a journal page to kind of illustrate that. And we both have strengths and weaknesses. And so I, sometimes, of course, it creates conflict because we don't understand each other. But somebody put it really this way. Is that it takes a positive and a negative for a battery to work. And so I thought I like that because together we have some energy going. So this is me over here, the pink creative side, the right side of the brain. So I know they used to say that if you're left-handed, if you write left-handed, that you, your brain is kind of like flip-flop so that you're right brain dominant. Um, I am right-handed, but my dad is left-handed and he always used to joke. He, he would say, I'm the only one in my right mind. <laughs> so for this project, I am just contrasting his and my differences using the brain analogy, because I would have to say that he is more left-brained, I'm more right-brained. Um, so for the logical side or analytical side, I wanted everything to be very square. I wanted straight lines and um, make it look very technical because that is where um, that side of the brain, how that side of the brain works. So I switched back to, the, I tried starting with the, the white um, Signo pen, but again, I was having trouble. So I just went to, back to the silver and drew in some of the other characteristics that are not necessarily just left-brained characteristics, but um, just kind of characteristics of my husband. Um, on the, let's see, the Myers-Briggs. He's really close to an E, but he's a, like, he'll think out loud, but he is definitely more introverted socially. So, um, and he's a sensor, a thinker, and a judger. And, um, I think I've, I've mentioned the, the Myers-Briggs personality before, if you happen to catch that video, but um, it's just a fun way of understanding ourselves, understanding how pe different people function and work and process and all that good stuff. So yes, my husband is very, so that word that you can't see there is critical. And critical sounds like a, just a very negative word, but it actually means more like, um, you know, like critical thinking, making good judgments, and being able to um, just scrutinize things to get to the facts and the truth. So over here on the right side of the brain are all the, the creative, visual, optimistic, subjective, intuitive. So I'm just writing words that um, describe me. And maybe I'm inflating myself too much. <laughs> Because I think of the, all the words on the right like, oh, these are great words. These are great things to be. <laughs> but there's really not, um, you know, I think it's there's kind of almost a danger in being all one side or the other. And we all have a, both hemispheres of our brain and we use both sides. We just have a tendency to have one um, be the more dominant side. So, of course, I can be orderly. I can be objective. I can be analytical. I can be very practical. Um, but I'm also more on the right side. 
and my husband's a very hard worker. He's very disciplined. He works from home, and I could not do what he does. As far as distractions, I would just go crazy because, um, you know, every time the dog barks or somebody needs something or interrupts, I would probably pull my hair out. But he's just, you know, Mr. Calm and very disciplined. That's our dog, Kalua. She's a golden retriever. <laughs> Figured I'd keep her in the, the shot because she just jumped up on my lap and wanted to see what I was doing. All right, so I will stop chewing your ear off talking about me, me, me. I hope you enjoy the last, mm, I guess, minute of our vid my video and come back and see me again. 